Hey people, this, well, welcome. This is the review on the new Star Wars Rebels extended trailer. So, first off, I'm just going to talk about what I thought about the trailer, and then I'll talk about, like, mainly what the show was going to be about, and all the characters, and all the voices, and pretty much just some information on it. So, the, um, I thought the trailer was, I thought it was awesome. It was way better than the last trailer we got. Because I thought this, I the, it started off, the way it started off, I loved it. James Arnold Taylor. Yeah, James Arnold Taylor voices, voiced Obi-Wan. And I thought that was amazing. And he looks completely different. Let, well, this whole show looks completely different. And then, I'll talk about what my thoughts on what it looks like later, but... And then, you know, it goes on and it shows about, like, mainly Ezra's kind of story throughout, you know, kind of shows how he and everything. Just something like that. He It shows, like, how Kanan and Zeb found him and so on and so forth. And so, then, you know, it just picks up. There's a lot of action and everything. And then, Obi-Wan is still doing some voiceover work, like... And mainly what he's saying is that it's in this little holocron, I believe. It, I'm pretty sure it's a holocron. Like, Kanan, what, maybe maybe it's Kanan, so that's my speculation. But, like, the holocron opens up, and there's a recording of Obi-Wan saying, This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I'm here to report that the Jedi, the Jedi Order and the the Republic has fallen, you know, and it's really kind of, kind of low music at the beginning. I thought that was really good. I thought that was done really well. And then, so, then he keeps talking later on. I think he takes a break, and then he keeps talking, and he's like, there will be, like, a new hope that'll come up eventually, you know. And I think that, that was really interesting, you know. I, I felt like it was kind of foreshadowing, kind of, them, like, the crew of the Ghost, but also... The, but also Luke Skywalker and Leia and Han and Chewbacca and all them. But Luke's mainly the New Hope. But I thought the trailer was good. But at some points, you know, the the music was just too happy, you know. And like I said, most of the most of the stuff that we saw was, you know, on the other trailer. But you know, I, that's fine, I guess. Cause I had I didn't watch that other trailer for a while. I think Kanan will be my favorite character because he just looks awesome, and the way he he just he's like he is acting all quiet and everything. You know, I thought that was really cool. And then I like where Agent Callus is like, "Troopers, focus all your all your weapons, all your blasts, or something like that." On the and then he just takes a break and he's just like, and then Kanan takes out his lightsaber and he puts it together. I thought that was really cool. It's like. On the Jedi. And then they just start blasting him. I thought that was really cool. But. I. Um, I kind of have a problem with this show. Mainly. Um, there like will be no like Skywalkers. Or like, there won't be like an Obi-Wan Kenobi. Or Ahsoka. Or yeah, oh, well, maybe. Or like any of the cast members. From the past shows, well, like from the movies or the past shows, I hope there will be like eventually, like a Rex, like Rex will come in, you know. But and I would have hoped that instead of the Inquisitor, and yeah, and the Inquisitor makes an appearance at the end. Agent Callus is like Inquisitor. I have encountered a rebel cell, and then the Inquisitor is like, "It's a good time you called." And then you just see his face, and. I wish that would have been Vader, you know, because I get Vader's probably doing going off and doing other stuff, but Vader was supposed to be hunting down the Jedi, not the Inquisitor, and I wish that would have stuck, you know, but I guess I'm not going to complain, he, he wiped out half the Jedi Order there in in the temple, you know, and on course not, I'm not, you know, it was, oh, yeah, I can deal with it. But I, I really want this show to do well. I'm, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I'm waiting for this show to come on. But my, 
I'm pretty sure my least favorite character will be that Mandalorian chick. And that Mandalorian chick's name is... Sabine Wren. I just think that won't... I just don't think that she'll be, like, prove a good kind of used to the team. I get I get it that she's like she has a, she's an expert knowledge of weapons and explosives. But the graffiti thing I don't know. I really don't care for that. But, you know, I guess like I said, I just I hope this show does well. I want this show to do very well. And so pretty much like and then, um, the main reason why... I, I'm going to talk about the animation now. The main reason why I think the animation is the way it is is because now Disney owns it and it doesn't want it to be like, you know, the other Clone Wars thing. Or my second reason is because... Well, I have three reasons. So, the second reason is because Dave Filoni and the cast don't want to do the same thing that they did with Clone Wars, you know. Or number three, they just wanted to try something different, you know. And that may or may not pay off in the long run. I'm not sure about that. But I wouldn't be too sure. So yes, like the first season will have 16 episodes, I have heard. I wish there'd be more to a season. Like like more to more than 16 episodes, you know. But here it says that the series is scheduled to premiere on August on October 2014, which is pumped for because that's kind of around the same time when Star Wars: The Clone Wars had happened, and that was good. As a one-hour special on Disney Channel, and then they and then air as a series on Disney channels, Disney XD channels worldwide. Now my question is is like like and you guys can drop this in the comment section if you guys think. Do you guys think that the episode, each episode will be an hour long? Because if it's an hour, if each episode's an hour long, I'll be perfectly fine with that. But you know, and then Kinberg, and then like um, this guy Simon Kinberg, he works on the show. He stated that the first season would contain 16 episodes and reveal that the series will feature new characters along with characters from the original trilogy. I hope. There will be a lot of the original trilogy characters. You know, it doesn't... Maybe they don't have to be big characters, but... Like, maybe General Nadine or Admiral Akbar or something. So then, the continuity still isn't messed up for, like, Luke, Han, and Leia. Because, well, Luke and Leia couldn't be there anyways. Leia, maybe. But Han and Chewbacca, they probably wouldn't. See, the, the main cast wouldn't be there. And then R2 and 3PO are not there. Now, that is something that really just... It makes me feel, you know, it just makes me feel like the show's going to be empty because three C-3PO and R2-D2 are like the whole heart and soul of Star Wars because they were the first people that we saw on screen and, you know, I just feel like now this show isn't going to have them. So, you know, it's just, yeah. But, like, um, Kanan Jarrus is, like, the renegade Jedi who who survived Order 66. I think that he'll be an awesome, cool character. And then Ezra Bridger, and he's, like, a kind of, like, a... Per, he's, like, a Jedi, but he hasn't learned how to use the Force. He's kind of, kind of like, a Luke sort of thing. But I'd say it was kind of... It'd be kind of like a Leia sort of thing because they didn't know... Well, never mind. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, it's kind of like a Leia thing because she doesn't know she had the Force and he doesn't know, but, you know, he knows that he's got the Force. And then there is Zeb. I think he'll be an awesome character. He's going to be, like, the main muscle of the show, like Chewbacca, like Chewbacca was in the other movies. And then there is, like, Sabine. Sabine Wren, which is that Mandalorian. Like I said, I'm kind of lenient on. And then Hera Syndulla. Uh, she's like the... She's the owner of the ghost. And the ghost is kind of like the Millennium Falcon. It's like that kind of ship. You know, it's kind of old. It's a piece of junk. Quoting Luke Skywalker. And that'll kind of be like the Millennium Falcon sort of thing. You know, it'll be like that. And then there's the... There's Chopper. 
and that's an astromech droid. He's kind of like the um, opposite of R2-D2, exact opposite of R2-D2. And then I think, yeah, and then there's the Inquisitor, voiced by Jason Isaacs. I think he'll do an awesome job. And I like J and I like the Inquisitor's lightsaber design. I thought that was really cool. And then there is Agent Callus, who's like, I'd say, he's like the main bad guy. Well, he's kind of like the main, well, I'd say he's like the, he's like the Darth Vader of the series, and then the Inquisitor is the Emperor of the series, you know, something like that. And then Billy D. Williams will be back as Lando. Woo! And then James Arnold Taylor, he'll just probably be in that one episode that they get that holocron off. You have, and you know. And this takes place five years before um, A New Hope, which will more than likely take place 15 years after Revenge of the Sith. And it's pretty. And it's just. You know. Like, Disney XD and Disney Channel are not my favorite kind of channels. I wish it could have stayed on, uh, the, on Cartoon Network. I wish I could have had, I wish we could have had the Clone Wars over this show. But, I'll give this show a chance. I will be doing, like, an in-depth, I'll do a review of every episode when it comes, along with Age of the Shield. I'll do a review on both of those, and maybe some other shows, if you guys want, if you guys want me to review those shows. Just hit that like button and the subscribe button and drop a comment in the comment section if you want me to do like a TV show or a movie or something. Alright guys, see ya man, see ya. And may the force be with you.